everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away, and welcome to the April edition of Explorations of Me, a design team and group that was created by Cindy Signs Utter. And the prompt for April is really a pretty funny one. Um, it is what is your first, what was your first car? Did you buy it? Did you love it? Yes, I bought it. No, I didn't love it. <laughs> it was, um, as some people refer to a car, it was considered a P.O.S. And I will leave it up to your imagination for you to decipher what that means. <laughs> but anyway, let me get my supplies together and let's get started. Okay, I've got my card stock down here. And I'm just going to start throwing down some paint. This is cad yellow. And this is bright yellow. I really don't think there's too much difference between them. Whoa, that's a lot, isn't it? That was a big blob. That's all right. We'll fix it up. I did not gesso this page. Um, this is just um, watercolor paper, cheap watercolor paper. I don't know who it's by. I can't remember. But I know this is really bright. That's okay because I'm going to add layers to this. And I've got dog hair because. I've got a dog, but yeah, my very first car. I did not learn how to drive until I was, let me see, I started dating my husband when I was 17. Um, my husband taught me how to drive. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Um, but my husband taught me how to drive. I think I was 19 at the time and yeah, that wasn't, um, that wasn't easy. Well, you know what I think I need to do after I dry this up? I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to tape this down from the back with some painter's tape so that it doesn't like move on me. I'm doing this on watercolor paper because I lost footage and I have to redo this page. So um, let me dry this up and um, tape this down so it doesn't move on us. Be right back. Okay, so I've got my first layer on here of yellow. And the two yellows that I used were by Americana. By the way, Deco Art Americana, same company. Um, Cad yellow and bright yellow. Kind of mix those two together. And now I'm going to throw a stencil on here for some texture. And where's my palette? This is just an old piece of packaging that I like to use as a palette. So let's put some of this down here. Yeah, that first car. Hmm. I bought it off of um, an old uh, a fraternity brother of my husband's. Um, he was selling it and I got it dirt cheap and boy, I'm not kidding, dirt cheap. I think I paid uh, something like $300 for it. It was, oh my gosh, it was such a mess. <laughs> But, you know, back in those days, in those days, I'm old, I guess, by some standards. I actually had a student tell me the other day how old he thought I was, that I was an old lady. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Oh, I can't move this piece of paper because it's taped down. Um, you know, back in those days, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, I still don't. <laughs> but, um, you know, you take... You take what you can get. I mean, you you get what you get. That's 
you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, you know. Um, it's all I had. You know, I was happy to have it. And um, that's all there was to it, you know. I, I just, I lived alone. Um, I lived in a small little apartment. And I just needed to, you know, get to the grocery store or to my boyfriend's house at the time, which is now my husband. Um, but, you know, it wasn't anything spectacular, you know. Um, I wasn't raised in the kind of family where, you know, daddy buys you a brand new car. You know, that's not the way I was raised. And um, so I worked, you know, I worked hard for that money. I mean, it was $300, but back then, you know, at $300 was, you know, a lot of money. And that's, uh, you know, I went without for a little while, you know, to have that. My husband will be the first to tell you that back when um, when we were dating, I was I was known to show up at dinner time more than a few times at his apartment because when you're broke, you're broke. Oh, and that color I used was antique gold. And now I'm going to throw down some of this to lighten it up. This is banana cream. And I really love this color. And no, I'm not switching out my um, this sponge. This is just an old makeup sponge. I just want to um, lighten this up. But, you know, this car, um, like I said, it was a my husband and I figured that we think <laughs> it was a 74 Mercury Cougar. And to be honest with you, I cannot remember if it was a two door or a four door. Um, it was a mess of a car. Um, but like I said, back then, you know, um, that's all I had, you know, um, I usually took the bus to work because I lived in a community that um, was full of single people. I lived in a community called Lakewood and um, man, that was a fun time. So, you know, it really didn't matter what kind of car you drove, at least not to me. It was more important that I got to work and this port, this car, oh my gosh, I'm telling you right now, it, um, if it rained, it died. If it was too cold out, it wouldn't run. It wouldn't start. Um, but you know what? Like I said, I could take the bus to work because I lived right on a bus line. And if worse came to worse, I could always just, um, you know, I, I really just needed it to get, to get, um, to get groceries and whatnot. Let me bring you in a little bit. I know it looks kind of spotty, but whoop, wrong direction. Kind of like this. I don't want to move this too much. I know it's a little out of frame. I'm sorry. I'll see if I can move it in a little bit. Um, I need to put some more um, light coats on here to lighten this up, but I need to dry this up. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've moved this over a little bit and I've dried it and I've grabbed another stencil and I'm going to grab my gesso and this is my homemade gesso and I will link to it. Um, I will put a link to it. Ooh, man, I just squirted it everywhere. Um, I will put a link to it in the description below and I am just going to put some dots on here to lighten this up a little bit. But anyway, back to what I was saying, you know, um, it was a, the car that I had was a 74, I think we decided, Mercury Cougar, and it was purple, well, burgundy, and um, 
I had <laughs> I had kind of sort of banged into things so many times that the front fender pretty much smiled at you as you came down the street. Um, but you know, I loved it. It was my first car and it was mine and I paid cash for it. Um, and like I said, you know, I worked really hard, you know, for that cash, you know, to pay for that. I can't bring in too much further, um, on this, but I'm just putting some white down, white gesso down just to, um, lighten this up a little bit. And the stencils that I'm using, I think this one is, um, the crafters workshop. Um, yeah, it is a crafters workshop, but I don't know what kind, what the name of it is, but anyway, there it's any, this is a pretty common stencil. Um, but you know, I've taken all my stencils out of their, um, out of their packaging and I store them in like this so that um, I can get to them quickly or flip through quickly plus they're easier to transport that way. That's lightening up a little bit. I like that. It's what I wanted. I do believe. And you know, there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. Really. Um, I knew I just wanted some texture um, and some color. So, all right, I'm going to grab another sponge though, because I need to do green. And so let me get that all together and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to throw some grass down here because I need somewhere soft for my car to go. I've already cut my car out to go on this layout. But because actually right now this car is in car heaven <laughs> because when I was on my way to trade it in for another car, I totaled it. I ran it right into a semi. I was fine. It's not hurts, but the car, well, that was a whole nother story. But that's okay. That's what insurance is for. Not that I recommend you total your car. It was not a pleasant day. By any stretch of the imagination. All right, so there's some green. And it's not coming in on the picture, but this is a really bright green. So now I'm going to add, I like to add like three shades of, of a color because it adds dimension. So this is citrus green. And this one here was holiday green, citrus green. And then the other green I'm going to use is key lime pie. And I think I've used that before. I know I'm not going to change my sponge when I'm using the greens. And I'm just going to scoot this over a little bit so that they're not on top of each other. This way they're kind of um, off. So it looks like they're growing in and amongst. Because I mean, there's no such thing as like lawn that's like or yard or weeds or whatever. That's all one color green. I mean, I mean, I guess some people do have yards like that. I should. At least that's not what my yard looks like. Okay. I have one more color to put on there, but I want to dry this up real quick before I do that. So again, Alrighty. I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and put the, um, the coating of the key lime pie down on here and dried it. And now 
Here's my car. And this kind of want to look like it's sitting in the grass. I like that. So let me find my glue here. And this is the Tombow, um, Tombow glue. And I cut my car out, cut it out on my Cricut. Um, I don't remember what cartridge it was because I used the um, Designer Studio and I didn't look. So, but if you have a Cricut, just, you know, throw in the search car and it's in there. And down, we're going to go with it right there. I should have washed my hands because I'm going to get yellow paint on this. I guess it really doesn't matter because, I mean, my car was, you know, a mess. And then I want this yep, to come out right there. Yep. Now, not only did my car not run when it was cold out or if it was raining. Um, oh my gosh. I worked in downtown Cleveland and it was sunny and beautiful when I left work in the morning and on the way home, it decided to start raining. Well, that car decided it wasn't going to run anymore. <laughs> so it literally stopped running right in the middle of downtown Cleveland what we would um, what we call public square, which is like right the middle, the epicenter of downtown. <laughs> yeah, rush hour people were not happy with me. Pouring down rain, my car stalled out. Um, do you think anybody got, a, got out to help? Oh, no, no, no. They did not. They just honked their horn and Got a few nice uh, gestures, shall we say. <laughs> Here I was, this 19, 20 year old girl with a stalled car in the middle of downtown Cleveland and people were honking their horns. Seriously? How about come on getting out and giving me a hand? All right, so not only did it run, but the exhaust system on it was horrible. This is back before they had EPA regulations and all that other stuff. So there was a cloud of smoke that came out behind the back of my car. But I still loved it. It was mine. And then just for a little bit of whimsy, I figured because it didn't like to run in the rain, it needed an umbrella. Now this umbrella, um, I drew by hand, cut by hand. Um, it's cute and it's just kind of silly. So, oh, sorry. I'm not even in frame. I'm putting glue on this. Well, not that you missed anything. I'm just putting glue on the umbrella. But I thought, you know, this would just be kind of cute. That my car needs an umbrella because that's the only way it would run. Hold that down for just a second. I always keep, my gosh, these are, these must be my granddaughter's cloth diapers from when she was a baby. So yeah, they make great art cloths. There we go. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Okay, I've got some writing to do on here, so let me get a few things out for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, using my Prima Alpha set that I have here, I have stamped onto just a, pa a piece of tissue paper. And if you can see, this side's kind of shiny, so I stamped on the side that's more matte, 
and kind of soft, if you will. But I stamped out my title, my first car. And what I'm going to do, I'm sure you have seen me do this before, but I'm just going to take my water brush and I'm just going to go around the word and I'm going to tear it out. Now doing this, I'm going to come up here too, just so it gives me a place to start ripping. Doing it this way kind of creates um, a rough edge. And when I use my matte medium to adhere this to my page, um, it goes on seamlessly as though it was part of the page. You really won't be able to tell that it is a, um, a piece of tissue paper. So it's a great way to um, put a title on something or add any kind of embellishment without um, having to stamp directly onto your project. I feel a sneeze coming on here, so excuse me if I sound like I have a, a sniffly nose. We're getting allergy season is upon us and all the trees are blossoming out so which also means that my allergies are starting up here but i'm just going to go ahead and finish pulling these out and i will be back when i'm ready to go ahead and glue these on i'll be right back okay i have this set in place i finished um cutting this out or actually using my water brush to pull it out i'm just going to shake up my my matte medium here i buy my matte medium in a larger container and then i just put it in here because it's easier i think i'm going to start this way and i think you have seen me do this before where I put down my matte medium and just kind of brush it out a little bit. And then I'm going to set my word down. And then I'm going to just spread it like that. Nice and clear. And you can't even see the, pa the uh, tissue paper anymore. I'm going to do the same here, right about there. You want to be gentle with it when you're putting it down, when you're brushing over it, but you do want to make sure that you have all the air bubbles out. I mean, I suppose you could put down, you know, just stamp right onto the, um, onto your project if you wanted to, but it takes away all the fun of it. It's just a lot more fun. My first car. There we go. And because it's matte medium, it will dry matte. But like I said, to get your best adhesion using this, you want to go underneath first, lay your um, tissue on top, and then go over the top of it with more matte medium. So it kind of sandwiches um, your tissue in there. And I'm going to go ahead and take my um, heat gun to this and dry it up. And we'll be back. Okay, this is all nice and dry. And this is ready to be edged. Um, it looks adorable. I mean, how cute is that? It's just cute. It's just cute. I love it. Um, and what I'm going to do to edge it, I'm going to take my black stays on and I'm just going to go along the edge here. 
and finish it, finish it off here. It just hides that, um, the white here, the white edge of your paper, and it just finishes off your project. And I may put a border on here. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how this looks. Well, it looks all right. I like to go around a couple of times just to make sure I get all the, the little bits. Get them done. And that's okay if a little bit gets on there. It just adds to the... And it's all over my hands. It just adds to the, uh, the feel of it. Get this ink off my hands, though, before it gets too hard to get off. And all right, let me get this ready to get mounted on the page in my book. Let's see if I can get that off. Oh, probably not. Well, maybe. Ah. Enough that you really don't notice it. Okay. All right. Well, this is my page that is going into my journal. My first car was a 74 Mercury Cougar. It would not start in the cold. It would stall in the rain. It cost me $300, but it was all mine. So there is my page, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into my journal for Cindy. Explorations of me for April, 2018. I hope y'all enjoy. Thanks. Have a great night.